How's it going everyone? Um, my name is Hafo or Michael and uh, basically I'm back hopefully, um, providing nothing else cocks up. Um, basically um, this is my first tutorial of many and uh, yeah so I'm just going to jump right in. It's a, a transition and uh, basically people were asking me in uh, messages you know can you do some transitions because uh, you know the people want to see them and uh, nothing new here guys you've probably seen it before but these I just decided to pick out uh, a couple of my favorite transitions that you know I've done in the past and uh, I'll probably do them in a couple of videos you know spread them over a couple of videos so uh, maybe I'll do one tomorrow maybe I'll upload the second one tomorrow but I've definitely got the second one uh, you know made so whenever you guys want to see that I'll upload the second one uh, which will be a different tra uh, transition so don't expect anything too complex it's just nice and simple and as I said these are just a couple of my favorites but the first one is probably the more complex of the two and uh, basically it's this nice little uh, slidey transition and this has been going for years this one I've seen this one on loads of videos and as I said I wouldn't be surprised if there are tutorials on this already but uh, here's how you do it so what it is is it's uh, it slides up like so and then it continues to slide with this nice blur and it looks very nice and it lands nicely and uh, you know you carry on with your clip so I'm going to show you how to do that now so what I've already pre-done is I've imported uh, two of my clips here uh, overlapping like so and uh, what I've done is I've keyframed the position of the clip so uh, to do this what I've done is I've gone to the start of the uh, the clip there and I've created the keyframe um, and then what I've done is I've changed the uh, basically the uh, the value here I've changed it to 1080 right and then I've gone forward around I don't know I've gone forward a little too much there I, don't, I only need to go forward about half a second and uh, I've changed that there to even I don't even I think for half a second might be a little too much. Uh, let me just uh, zoom out a bit. Right, about there, like so. And so what I've done is, and then I've changed that to uh, 360. So it goes from 1080 and it just slides in like so, nice and simply, and uh, nothing complex there whatsoever. Um, that's the easy part and then what we're going to do is we're going to drag in our effect itself to make it slide upwards and um, this is going to be the offset here uh, drag that on like so and uh, I've already got it added but I'm just going to remove this, the first one uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change this shift center to uh, we're going, actually we're going to keyframe it here like so and then we're going to go forward uh, quite a bit in time so say about uh, I don't know here maybe, yeah, about there, it's potentially a bit too much but it'll be alright just for the sake of this tutorial and we're going to change this uh, shift center I, uh, 360 value to here, we're going to change it to minus 360 and then use the asterisk key, the little star and uh, I'm just going to do 13 because uh, that looks alright and as you will see now you'll get like the sliding, uh, the sliding sort of spin and uh, that, that is what we wanted which is good and uh, no mess ups there, so it's, that's nice and easy. And uh, now the second bit's just to kind of make the the transition itself a little smoother. And um, yeah, I, I didn't actually originally do this, but I saw this on a different video, and it, he said to do this. So you know, I, it looked good as well. So I'm going to do this. So what you do is you're going to right click the the final sort of keyframe as you've got here, and you're going to go on Keyframe Assistant, and then ease in, or you can click F9 for that, but ease in. And uh, we're going to do the same with the very first one as well, the position. So keyframe assistant, ease in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the two offset, uh, the two offset keyframes here, as you can see. And uh, we're going to click the little graph like so, and we're going to click the little the point at the bottom of the graph, and we're just going to drag this thing in as far as it'll go. So uh, you make the slope a little uh, a little steeper, and uh, basically it just makes it smoother on the whole and uh, you know kind of fades it in a little more if you want to call it that and um, we're going to do the same with the uh, the, fir the other two as well with the position so it's going to click the first part here grab the little circle that you've got there and just drag it in as far as it'll go and uh, you know you'll create the little the slope will go a lot steeper and uh, a lot I don't know a lot nicer really uh, so as you can see now when we watch over it, it slides in and then we get our slidey Thing there, and then it'll stop nicely, and that that is what the uh, that is what the ease in did. It made basically made it slot, it made it s slow down, and eventually stop. And uh, you know, if if you if you think it takes too long to actually slide in, you can make that a bit quicker, and then 
Uh, it, basically, you can just you can mess about with the keyframes to get what you like. But uh, to add the blur, all we're going to do is it's just directional blur. So I'm just going to type in blur, and we're going to scroll down. You can see you got all the different ones here. There it is, directional blur. Drag that on top there. And the blur length, you can do what you like. Uh, say, ooh, I don't know, 50. Just, just a kind of a guess, really. And um, we're going to go on. Uh, where is it? Blair length, sorry, 50 at the start, and then go to the end, and uh, we'll make it at zero. So now that should be about it, really. Um, as you can see, it's going to blur in like so, gradually kind of getting less blurry. And uh, that's the simple transition, nothing more to it. Um, you know, you, as I said, you can fully customize it to how you want it to look. Um, you know, you can add different blur. I, I, you know what, you can mess around with it nice and easy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and check out my other tutorials. And uh, do subscribe because I'm going to start posting a lot more. Um, so guys, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.